Hi to anyone who may be watching. Um, I thought I'd do a haul for you today because I tried to take blog posts of it and it just looked awful. Um, and I got quite a bit this month as it was, um, well, payday recently. So I went a bit mad because I really need a new wardrobe. So yes, my first YouTube video. So a bit, a bit nervous to <laughs> be nice. Anyway, um, I'll start with the stuff I got in Superdrug because that'll, well, because I will. Um, <clears throat> Recently, Essie's now available in Superdrug. So when I was in Marble Arch uh, Superdrug on, I think it was Thursday, I think that may be the first day they were there, um, I picked some up and they're actually, I think, cheaper than they would be in Liberties because that's where I normally buy them. <coughs> Sorry, I do have a cold. It's not like I normally have a manly voice. Um, so I've been wanting this mouthwash for so long. A lot of people have been talking about it. It's Chin Chili. And it's just like a really nice... I've got it on my nails at the moment actually. It's like a grey, it has like a really, it's like a grey but not a horrible grey, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, like grainy, grey brown I suppose, but um, that was 7 99 so I've been wanting that for ages so that was really handy. And I also picked up this one, um, it's like a dusky rose pink colour, this one's called um, Eternal Optimist. I haven't tried this out yet, but I just thought it'd be nice for summer and like natural nude nails, really. Um, <clears throat> I really didn't like Essie nail polishes. I've had two and I've hated them. I thought they're really, really far, you know, they're not, you have to build them up loads. You have to have like five layers, but like Chin Chili's changed my mind completely. So I'll probably get Marvel up, Super Drug <laughs> coming up. But yeah, um, also I've been obsessed with the Reverend Lift Butters. I mean, loads of people have been. They're really great, um, and I saw on when the Sunday Girl blog, which is a great blog, so I'll put that below. I'll sure you'll read it anyway. Um, she put a post up of this one called Macaroon, and I just had to have it. <laughs> I, you know when you just see products, you're like, I have to have that. I got it on my lips at the moment. It's like um, just a really nice natural pinky colour. I mean, my lips are really pinky anyway, so I like to wear pinks. I mean, I know quite a few people like nudes, but it's um. Like a dark pink, slightly red colour, but not. That's a swatch. I don't know if you can see that. It's, you know, it's like a ready pink colour. I mean, the packaging's great, really handy. Shove it in your bag, you're good to go. And it's pretty sturdy, so it doesn't come off. Um, only thing that is a bit annoying is now it's getting hot. I found that one of my other ones, which lollipop that I had, melted. Um, because they're just so creamy. That's the only negative I can say about them, really. Otherwise. <coughs> absolutely love them. I've been wearing this over any other lipsticks, just they've been shoved to the corner, <laughs> lip butters are in. Um, next I'll just do some accessories I've got in H&M. Um, really love H&M accessories at the moment, I went in and there's quite a bit, you know they're like really hit and miss, you either love them or you hate, either, no, that's not coming out right, either love it or you just can't find anything. Um, but I found this, absolutely love this. Um, it's white and grey triangles, it goes quite nice with my nails actually, um, it's just like a bangle, it goes with so much in my wardrobe, I mean as soon as I bought it I put it on, and this was, this was 6 99 which I think is pretty good, I mean it's quite sturdy, it's gold inside, and it's just, I know it's something I'm going to wear all the time, so it's cheaper than Topshop but anyway, um, I then bought this, it's like a I only bought this, it sounds really sad, but because it reminds me of the Mulberry bangles, which are like £100, and this was £3.99, so you can't really go wrong. And I like rose gold, so I thought this would be a really nice piece for layering. It's quite, you can see the clasp and it's quite different. I don't know if you can see the true colour of that, can you? It's like a really rosy gold, kind of brass looking, I suppose, bangle, but I just thought it would be great for layering, and it was so cheap. Can't really say no. And then I bought this, I know everyone has this really, um, oh, wrong way around. It's just a plain gold like cuff-like necklace. This was 7 99 but this has been really hard to get hold of. I've gone on, like, I live near, um, well, my, my local shopping high street would be Oxford Street or Regent Street. Um, and, God, they've all been sold out for so long. I went on the one on Regent Street, because that's my favourite around there. I think the ones on Oxford Street are a bit... Blur, they're just not that great and they had quite a few in and they also had the silver in but 
I just I have quite a lot of silver necklaces so I thought oh the gold one will look best so yeah, I got that oh heart attack moment with this next product I was at my head well it's my boyfriend's hairdressers which is a lot more expensive than my hairdresser but the last time my hairdresser just did a really awful like she hacked it basically it looked awful and I've had to wait two months to get it grown out anyway so I was at this hairdresser's and he used this you know it's like when they use products and your hair gets suckered into it and I was I don't ever do anything with my hair and I was like oh this is really great blah, blah, blah. and I was like oh I need it I must get it so I got this it's like um Moroccan oil don't even ask me I can't pronounce it crust so I think mean, it's got L'Oreal Paris at the bottom <laughs> Um, it's supposed to be like Moroccan oil, and um, but he, my hair just said this is actually better because it's less oily. Because I always have fear of putting oil on my hair. I don't want it to look greasy. You know, I I don't want to make it any worse than it already is. So he said this is really great. When I got when I went to pay, my bill came to something ridiculous, and I was like, oh my god! You know when you have like one of those hot, you don't actually want to hold your card over. You're like, what? I looked up online. This was thirty pounds. Thirty pounds for a hair oil. This better probably be worth it. I mean, it's supposed to last you a year. And it was going to last me a year. But I mean, £30. I'll, go, I'll do a review on it and say if it's worth the money. I don't normally spend a lot on hair. So, like, hair care bits. So it's a treat once in a while is okay. But I thought £30 was a lot. I did die a bit. But yeah. Now on to clothes. I got, I got quite a bit in Topshop. So, looking at it. I'll probably do the Topshop stuff first. Um... Yeah, so I got these. Um, absolutely love these. I got these at the beginning of the month. I haven't really had a chance to wear them because the weather's been so horrible. And I tried to put it with tights, but it just didn't. I, don't, I think it's because this is like creamy crochet. It just didn't look right. These are high waisted, <clears throat> but I would say with these, I think most Topshop high waisted shorts, you have to at least go up a size or two because the eights, I couldn't even get them. Like, normally I'm an eight, and I couldn't even get them over my thighs, let alone anywhere higher. So I got the tens, but, I mean, I spoke to the girl, and quite a lot of people said they have that problem, and they have to go up to, like, one or two sizes, so... And don't feel like it's just you, it's everyone. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, no, what's happened? Um, I got this top as well. Oh, they were 30... I can't remember, it's a while ago. I want to say £38, I think. I'll find it online and let you know. I got this top as well, which is, I absolutely love this top. It's such, it's so gorgeous. It's like a, it's got a cream, um, cream? Dusky pink cami underneath, and this is all like lace with, be you can see the beading on it. It's just really pretty. I just thought with leggings or jeans, you can make it cash or evening. It's like one of those tops you can just have and either way, I think it's going to look nice. This was £38. I mean, it's a lot for what the top is. But then it has, you know, it's really pretty. It's got like scalloped bottom. It's got beading. I thought, okay, £38. I suppose. Like a special top. It's kind of okay, really. Oh, I got, I got some jeans. Just really basic. Um, the Lee jeans I really needed a pair and I think these are the ankle grazer ones I really I really like ankle grazers and how they look at the moment and I'm pretty sure I'm probably just 5'2 so I find so jeans are like my worst thing to buy I absolutely hate buying jeans even their shortest leg in there which is leg 30 is still just that bit long and I did look in the petite section they didn't have them so luckily these are already ankle grazers so I can just roll them up a couple more times and they're just so soft. I love. I can't believe I haven't owned a pair of Lees before. I've had um, Baxter mainly. Oh, I don't understand why I haven't got these before. They're so soft. They're like leggings. So I'm not gonna get a lot of wear out of those. And they were also thirty eight pounds. Um, oh, I know. Everyone's probably you've probably all seen this top a million times, but. I just, I, it's one of those tops I kind of put off buying for so long and then it just got to the point and I was like, oh no, I really want it, I'm going to wear it a lot. This was £40, this is from the Love Concessions um, in Topshop on the, like the bottom basement floor, it's there. Just is really long, it's like an oatmeal colour with a cross on and just with a pair of leggings, I'll just chuck this on and what if it's supposed to be going cold again? And it's not even thick so you could wear this now in the spring as well and I just know it's one of those tops you can just put with anything really like just chuck it on and it's going to look kind of cool. I also got 
mainly a pair of leggings to kind of go with that top, it sounds a bit bad, but these are also um, from Topshop, they were £25 and they've got like a leather bit at the top here, like faux leather, and also down the side, it's only a very thin strip because I know they do a much bigger one, but they didn't have those ones in my size, but I mean just a little hint of leather's fine with me, and actually these are a really good length of me, they, I don't need to turn them up or anything, and I don't know why they don't make their jeans this length. But um, yes, yeah, so I thought they would go really well with that top, and I mean leggings you wear all the time. When they've got something like that on the side, like a small little bit of detailing, it just makes a huge difference if you're going out in the evening or something. Um, I do have a car, so I keep sniffing, I'm not just a weirdo. I got this, um, this, well actually there's a story, I thought this was a dress, but it's not, it's a really floaty play suit, I don't know if you can see that, I'm going to go back a bit. I love, I absolutely love it, it's just the fact it's a play suit that's so, it's just silly like little things like when you want to go to the bathroom, like when you've got a play suit, when you've got to unzip the whole back and it's a bit of a mission isn't it, but I, I kept it anyway because I just really like it and I absolutely love, this is a rose gold belt, a little bow belt, it's so cute and I love, I love Peter Pan collars, I always, yeah I just, I don't know why, I just really like how they look and I think they're quite flattering, there's a nice little bit of detail at the top. I like these little cutout bits, it's just different. Um, this is a really nice like peachy, yeah it's just peach, really, just just peach. <laughs> but no, I absolutely love this. This was quite pricey actually, I think this was £48. So that you can imagine like, I was a bit disappointed when I realised it was actually a play suit and not a dress. I did really arm and eye over it, but then because it is so floaty I thought oh in the summer it'll look nice and the belt won me over. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a, a belt. Um, oh, I've got two more tops down here. Um, I got oh, today. I, I had to return a top to top shop um, that I bought yesterday, today Sunday. So yesterday, and then today I was like, oh, I'm going to go to Stratford and return it because I didn't want to go back to Oxford Street. So I returned one top and bought two more. I mean, where is the, there's no logic in that. I don't know why I did it. I should have just gone in, returned it. I shouldn't have looked around. I, oh, I'm just such a sucker. Um, I got this really cute top, it's like a, it's not quite a crop top, it does go low, low enough on me that I could wear it as a top, I haven't got like midriff out or anything, but if you can see the detailing here, it's like really nice sort of pom pom -y. like, no not pom poms, like crochet, and it's like lacy crochet, and then at the bottom it's got a little bit of lacy bit, um, and then the back is actually sheer lace, but Again, I just thought of like a blazer, I could wear this in the day and then in the evening dress it up, maybe put it with leggings or just a, like a high waisted skirt or even if I had something floral bright underneath. It's just one of those tops that I thought if I didn't get it I'm going to kind of regret it because it was like a one off by itself in there and I thought mm, I better just get it because I'm sure that I will get loads of use out of it and I'm sure there's many things that will go with it. Um, this was £32 and this was actually from the petite section. I don't know if they do it in the normal one, I didn't see it but... Like I said, if you're sort of my height, this is not, it's not a crop top, it's long enough on you to get away with it. It's not like you're going to have all your midriff hanging out. Also got this top. You'll probably notice this is like the only bit. Of... I went out to buy like summery spring colour clothing and I've come back with black cream. Like really, just, I'm looking at it now and I'm like, it's not really summery looking. But I suppose I'll do it up with accessories to make it summery, but... So yeah, I got this really nice floral top. Um, just yeah, it's just like purples, pinks. It's just I just thought it's nice and it's not so bright that I feel like a you know clown. Like I'm not fluorescent. That wasn't very flattering, was it? And um, I could wear this throughout. I, don't know, I shouldn't be thinking about winter, but I can wear it you know later on in the year as well. Just thought a pair of shorts that look quite nice, and I like the little zip detailing. This was um, £30. That's a pretty hefty price for the fact it's so sheer, but Topshop's the only place at the moment that I've seen stuff and thought, oh, I really like that. That's really nice. Because I went into Zara and everyone's hyped up about Zara and how great it is. And I, I normally do absolutely love Zara. I get so much from there. But I don't know if it's because I was looking too hard. Couldn't find anything. I tried stuff on and it just hung and looked like disgusting. So Topshop's the only place I've gone and I thought, oh, this is really nice. Oh, I want this. I want that. So I just thought, oh, just go in there. 
Um, I also did buy quite a bit from Primark, but I had to take quite a lot of it back because the sizings in there are just all over the place. I had one top, it's like a really nice heart print top, and it just looked like a smock on me. It looked, and it made me look like six months pregnant. It just was not a good look. And I also bought the famous, like, famous, infamous, um, white blouse, the pink down the front with the little pink tip collar. That, I love that blazer. Blouse. But that was £10 and it was just so tight on my arms. I couldn't even lift my arms up. I would look like such an idiot that all day I wouldn't be able to move. I'd just be like... So I took that back and they didn't have it in my size in the Stratford one. I didn't even have it in the Stratford one so I couldn't not exchange it. But um, I got some really cute uh, flip flops from there. Uh, oh, should have probably taken the tag off. <laughs> um, you can see they're just a gold glitter. You can see there. And then they've got like a coral back. I absolutely love coral. That that along with turquoise is like my favourite colours. Um, and I saw a really similar pair in Topshop. And they were like £45 I think. And these were like a bargain at six. So, And with sort of flip flops, because they're just a fashion thing. It's not like I really want to spend a lot on them. I just want something fun. Like I wouldn't spend 45 on a pair of glittery shoes. Because I probably won't wear them all the time. I just wear them enough to get for six pounds worth out of them. So I thought they were a really good bargain. And they did have other colours as well, but I was only interested in the coral. Um, one other thing I got from Primark was this blazer. Um, it's like a... It's like a that funny creamy colour, you know? Like a darker cream version on grey colour. And then the bottom of it is brown. And it has fake pockets. Just always useful. Um, and this was £19. Um, I actually had to get this in a size 6. I didn't have my, a size 8. But it's absolutely fine. I think it's because it's supposed to be quite baggy anyway. The size 6 probably fitted me better. Because I don't... Because of my body shape, I don't like things that are really baggy and hang. Because I've got a really short um, like torso area. And for some reason, it, it just makes it look really squat and square. And just doesn't suit me. So I do need things fitted to an extreme, like not obviously skin tight and like sucked in and everything but I just think when it comes to like jackets I don't want them hanging, I want them quite, I want them fitted on my arms and fitted on my like, waist area so if you do look at that, look at this, I mean don't be, I, I think you could go down a size in it really, you don't probably need your actual size but that's just my opinion, I mean it's however you like to wear it but um £19 for blaze I thought was pretty good and I'm going to get loads of wear out of it, I know I will and I've already worn it like twice this weekend so I love I love myself a blazer. Um, I think it's, oh two more things. These shoes are like a bargain of the century. I've never ever, like these are Steve Madden shoes in a really nice coral, uh, coral colour. You can see they've got like a platform, quite a thick heel. Um, I looked on the website at these because I went to TK Maxx and this is where I found them. There's a TK Maxx um, near my office in the city and they do do, um, I know TK Maxx does designer stuff but they also do sort of like the D&G &G Versace and all that. They have that sort of range there. Um, but I, I just don't ever go in. It's not, I've been in a few times and I've seen dresses still there for like £2,000. As if you're going to spend two grand on a dress in TK Maxx when it's like hanging and it's been draped on the floor. You've got like dust attached to it. Like you're just not going to do it, are you? You'd, I'd rather spend like uh, even sixty quid on a nice dress in like Topshop than two grand in one in TK Maxx just because it's got Versace in the label. Anyway, that's going off on the point. So I looked at the shoes and I was with a work colleague and I was like, oh, I just love these shoes. I don't know what it is about them. I just love them. And I thought. Maybe this will be my way of incorporating a bit of colour into my spring wardrobe, which is a pop of colour on your shoe. You know, if you've got a black dress or just uh, if I had that pink top, you know, the pink BD top with leggings. Um, but anyway, these were £35 and I thought that was so good because, like, even with Ryland shoes or any other sort of high street chain, their shoes are really pretty expensive. And these are Steve Madden and I looked on the website and they were originally $100. Um, so if you've got to get Max Knee, it's probably worth looking out for them. I saw they also had them in cream, and they also had them in like a really bright blue colour, um, which was nice. They didn't have my size, but I mean, it's worth looking in there. They do have pretty good shoes, actually. Um, it's just I think it's just a hit and miss kind of place, but I don't know. They could be on the website, but I just know I'll get quite a lot of wear out of those. Uh, final thing is from a bag from H&M that I did actually get again at the beginning of the month, but... 
it hasn't been any of, in any of my blog posts, so I thought, well, it's still in the shop, so I might as well show you that. So it's just a like a bucket shape, and it's a brownie colour with a bit of coral on the bottom. It's just got a plain gold badge. Yeah, and it's like drawstrings. You can make it tighter, and it's got like a corally orange. It's verging on orange more than coral short handles, and then it's got like a long one, which I've actually had to tie up just again because it's so long on me. Like it would be hitting my ankles, which is never practical. So I tied that up a bit, but got a lot of views out of this. I really needed just a day bag because my actual handbag is just sometimes it's just too big and it's bulky and I wanted something that was kind of more trendy, fashionable bag because my other one's like a classic and doesn't really go with all outfits but yeah, so I've got that as well that was um, £20 or £25 £20 I think I'll find if I can find it on the website I'll put it below but I know it's still in shop so I've seen it um, that's everything I got this month I say oh, it seems like such a lot now that I look at it but um, yes, this is my first video, so be kind, I suppose. And if this has helped anyone, then that's great, really, because that's what I did it for. But maybe I'll do another one soon. But bye!